welcome to Dave's No Budget Technology Show, the show where we use cheap, crappy props and oversimplified explanations to talk to you about tech. This week, the Sony Alpha A55 digital camera. It might look like an SLR, it might take beautiful pictures like an SLR, it might even take interchangeable lenses and even a little microphone for video like an SLR, but it's not really an SLR. Allow me to explain with my grossly oversimplified model of an SLR camera. It stands for single lens reflex and it means that the light comes in through the lens and directly hits the film, that is the image sensor. But the camera also needs to focus, so it has a second sensor just for focusing. But there's a mirror in the way so that you can either focus on the autofocus sensor or have the light shine on the image sensor to take the picture. Focus and shoot, focus and shoot, focus and shoot, but never both at the same time. What Sony has done, they got rid of the mirror and replaced it with a piece of high sophistication translucent glass mirror. Now it is essentially a beam splitter. So the light can hit both the autofocus sensor and the image sensor at the same time. So it can be focusing and shooting. The mirror never has to move. The light is hitting the image sensor and the autofocus sensor simultaneously. And that's really handy when, for example, somebody's running at you and you need to focus and shoot continuously 10 frames a second. Or when you're shooting video. That weird design also lets this camera refocus while you're filming, which hardly any SLRs can do. Like a camcorder, only better because it's smoother and more cinematic when it refocuses. Flowers, creepy doll. Sony also put in its sweet panorama mode. I just go like this, and the camera is going to build the panorama automatically in the camera, no Photoshop work at all. And there it is. That's what you call a really, really wide angle. I also like the super bendy screen. You can take pictures of yourself, you can take pictures way down low like this, or you can just fold it up completely to protect it. There are a couple downsides. You know that 10 frames per second mode? Sometimes they come out a little dim, and sometimes the preview lags behind the actual image. But overall, Sony's crazy translucent mirror idea is a success. $850, including the lens, great pictures, and great video. Be sure to join me next week when I explain how the national air traffic system works using some old milk cartons and a little dental floss. Ciao.